to watch you get cheered that way today, uh, uh, it made me feel good to watch that. You know Thank that? You, you deserve this. Congratulations. Gave you know me that? the goosebumps myself, to be honest you with you. You know, you've traveled a very long road here, and you're a guy who likes the history of the league and embraces the history of the league. I'm sure this means a, a lot to you, what you accomplished this year. Well, it means an awful lot to us, but I really, really am proud of these uh, young men. Uh, the way they battled back, the way that they came together, uh, the, the phrase they used was all in, right. and they were all in. And you could tell by the way they practiced, by the way they met, by the way they listened, uh, by the way they responded. And, uh, and once, Mike, as we've talked before, once the defense started to play the way we knew we were capable of playing, the confidence of the team rose. You know, it seemed like uh, you were – did you feel like you were just trying to – buy time and try and see if you could tread water until you got people healthy? Is that was your plan when this thing was going so badly? Did you think you could see something at the end where you thought, hey, maybe we can get it together, or were you just trying to take it week by week? We're trying to win a game. You know, each week we're trying to do the best we could to maneuver people in a position to help us win, and uh, knowing full well the difficulty of the particular opponent we were going to play, and, uh, and But we were definitely trying to, uh, to build our team because we were always in contention. And because of that, you know, we, we knew how critical each game was, and, and we, uh, we took them one game at a time. We, I really didn't sit and say, well, the next week, right. you know, O.C.'s coming back. I we'll didn't talk. do that because it looked like uh, at one point the O.C. could come back a little bit earlier. Then it didn't work out that way. So what we did is uh, we just tried to do the best we could from a week-to-week -week basis, put ourselves in position to win. Now, I know that you coach week to week that's all you can do in this league and that's the idea get ready for that week's game but you've been around this a long time and you also know when you're now coaching a team that's live and is going to be a real tough out when did you realize that in this run hey we're going to be a handful well the dallas game in dallas was a huge win for us it didn't uh catapult us further than the next week right when we lost a disappointing game at home to washington right. I walked into the meeting the very next day, and I said, uh, fellas, we have two games to play. If we win both, we're going to win the division, and we're on into the playoffs, which is our, our goal is to win the Super Bowl championship, but the way to get there is by winning the division. I walked out of the room. Uh, the Jet game was a, a huge turning point for us in terms of the quality of play in all three phases. Uh, you know, as we... You know, the 99-yarder was sure. Victor right oh, before enormous. the half. Just, no, just changed everything. Just changed the whole con uh, the, the whole concept of uh, what we were doing no in question. the game. No question. No question. And then from there, just realizing the way we had played, preparing for Dallas. And then Dallas comes in. Dallas is a, an opponent we always have uh, really, really tough and hard, difficult ball games with. And, of course, this wasn't going to be any different. But we did have our defense played very, very well again. And... Um, and so we were able to move on from there. And then uh, the game in against at home uh, against Atlanta was a, was a huge win for Played us. Well. When you really realize that a very potent offense right. with many and, talented and people dominated them. came in and weren't able really to do the things that they wanted to do. And so that gave us that, uh, an indication that if we continue to play defense like that and we started to play giant football, which was, you know, Mike, in 07, 08, we had one giveaway in the four postseason games to win the world championship and 11 and 12 one giveaway to win the, the world championship you've been preaching that forever with the turnovers tom let me take you through this game here you got off very well you should have been ahead by a lot more the booth hold was a killer yep. okay um whether it was a good call or not forget it's, it right. was a killer yep. you go in you're down 10-9 now yep. you've outplayed them pretty badly you're all, you're down 10-9 frustrated disappointed what well, what I told the players right away when we walked in, I kept going around stirring it up. Hey, we can play a lot better than we're playing. We're a better football team than that. And then I referred to the penalties, but not in a way as an excuse. The fact that it happened, you're not going to get it back. You know, we get, we have to go from there. Uh, when we go out to sec start the second half, they drive and score again. Now, they've hit, now they're on 16 straight completions. He's got his rhythm. He's also put up 17 straight points. Right, right. How concerned uh, at 17-9? You've been through this a million times. Very concerned? 
Not Boy, very worry. concerned. Let's see what we're going to do with the ball this time. Important so, that you got the 17-12 there. And very then got important. a three and out. And then got a three and out. And then started to be able to get them off the field. Seemed like, seemed like you got them back where you they were not on their rhythm anymore. It's almost like they had that middle of the game where they were great. They did. They didn't start well. They didn't finish well. You got them back off your game. How'd you do that? I mean, well, just, just by the pass just, rush? Just by the, by the rush, by a little bit tighter coverage, by some the opportunity just to deny them. Uh, you know, they had been averaging 31 rushes a game for the last five ball games coming into our game. They eventually only rushed it 19 times. We did a pretty good job against that. They had over 80 yards, 83 yards rushing. But that was a part of the picture as well. When they would run, uh, there was a, a dynamic big hit by Chase Blackburn. You remember right. that one in the game. Right. That was a, It was a very physical football game. But uh, we just started to get them out. And we started to – we were we were disappointed is probably the best word – down there a couple times and kicked field goals. No, didn't come away with touchdowns. I was worried that that was going to come back to haunt us because that had been an indicator uh, the week before with right. Baltimore and New England. So uh, we, w we were concerned about that. But in, in keeping it close and keeping it where it was, the, pro the next problem that came up was at the fourth quarter. That I didn't know if we were going to get the ball back. Uh, hey, you only have one timeout. Holy smoke. And, and they're moving. Yep. And, you know, I don't know if you say lucky, good, whatever. They miss a play to Welker that could maybe end that game. Sure. I mean, they just missed it. Hey, they have to execute. They didn't execute it. Yeah. All right? That play happens. Now you get the ball back. But, you know, interesting in that mix of the game is you're looking at the game, and I get the idea. You know Belichick's going to try and take away the big play. Mm -hmm. And he played his safeties very deep, which yeah. we knew they were going to do. Sure. Were you frustrated? Was he a little frustrated? Were you getting antsy? It seemed to me on those last couple of possessions, you were dying to make a play to Manningham against those coverages. Were you looking to hit Manningham? Well, we were looking to hit anybody. We had talked about how we would be able to move the safeties a little bit off the mark and perhaps maybe come back the other way. And what happened there is that, first of all, they, when I, I say we thought they were, we were going to have a hard time getting the ball right. back, we had two incomplete passes which stopped the clock. We right. had a run which was for minus one, and they had to punish the ball. Now, yeah, it was a 12-yard line. Right. But what happened there is we had a cover two beater or a two-man beater to one side. Okay, the other side in the meantime... We called the W go. Kevin Gilbride called it a, a go route. So what happened was when Eli came back, he knew he could move the safeties a little bit, and he did. He, he really moved his eyes to the right side of the field. And in so doing, just a little bit pulled the safety off. Well, in the meantime, in cover two, they're playing to play the jam. Right. You know, Mario gets off, and Mario is very fast. Now, very, very fast. fast. So down the field he goes. Eli comes back with the ball, and I mean, it is a perfect, perfect, perfect throw. And, and gets his feet down, and holds the catch, ball. And he keeps, and he goes up to the ground, and he secures the ball. 